in this video, we investigate and find out if free Minecraft is actually safe. Hundreds of thousands of players could be putting their computer at risk by downloading and using this pirated version of Minecraft. I'm shocked at what we found in this video, so make sure to watch until the end, especially if you're a free Minecraft user, which I know many of you are. But quickly, in celebration of my LabyMob partnership, I'm running a 5 Minecraft cave giveaway and to enter, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your in-game name and you must join my Discord. Also, by hitting that little subscribe button at the bottom with the bell, you will never miss another video. And let's break down this investigation. Well, 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 if you haven't done this yet, it may be the right time to do so. Goodbye, T-Launcher. It's been nice having you on my computer. Or has it? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no two ways about it. This is about to be a very serious video because we're talking about T-Launcher. Now, T-Launcher have been a very naughty company recently, and it's time to set the scores straight. It's time to get to the bottom of T-Launcher. Is it a scam? Is it a virus? Let's sit down and have a talk. Now, some of you probably don't know this but T-Launcher contacted me several months ago asking me to interview them and ask them questions about the client. They emailed me and I'll prop the emails up on the screen right now and I tried getting an interview with them to which they never followed through with and in today's video I think we're gonna find out why. Now, I don't consider myself much of a conspiracist, but if you take all of the facts that are laid out in front of you about T-Launcher in the recent months, it's pretty easy to come to a conclusion that T-Launcher is somewhat shady. Now, we're not necessarily calling it a full-on virus at this stage, but as someone who has spoke so profoundly of T-Launcher in the past, and in some cases actually supported them, it's pretty, it's my duty to make this video and sit down with you guys directly. As over the last couple of weeks and months, there has been updates from T-Launcher themselves regarding claims that they are a virus and or a scam. Now I know this video won't be easy for some of you and I know there will be some of you in the comments that are gonna just simply disagree with my point and you know in some cases actually be angry that I'm making this video. And again I don't want this video to be used as something where you must uninstall T-Launcher and that's not exactly what I'm trying to portray in this video. But there has been another YouTuber who has been taking shots at T-Launcher quite directly and I've been very interested to see what has come of it. Now, I'm going to leave their channel and also their recent video down below, but a guy called Mr. Epic has been making some videos regarding T-Launcher, which they do not quite like. And it's quite similar to my situation. As I mentioned at the start, I've been making videos about T-Launcher, some of which have done very well on this channel. And, you know, most of the time they're just knowledge and also testing T-Launcher myself just to see if it's actually safe, as I know many of you guys like using T-Launcher yourself. Now, like I said, they contacted me several months ago asking me to interview viewed one of their owners or their admins and nothing come of it. They said they wanted to interview and they didn't actually show up to it. Surprise, surprise. I thought that would be a very awesome video to make and I just want to say this uh, opportunity to interview T-Launcher is still open so if anyone at T-Launcher is for whatever reason watching this video then I'm still more than welcome to bring you on the channel to hear your thoughts. What I will say is that T-Launcher has recently come out with claims that their, their client is not a virus whatsoever and has actually supplied some statistics based on virus total I believe or total virus which is essentially a website where you can load up a program or an application to kind of show you and tell you if uh, you know if they're flagging any antivirus or anything malicious on their end now on this website specifically, it says there isn't any viruses within T-Launcher. And I'll pop some screenshots up on the screen right now so you can kind of understand what we're talking about. But again, on Reddit, some viewers and on Reddit, some Redditors have said that this website isn't actually 100% proven. So if you do use a program or put a program into VirusTotal, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not a virus if it doesn't flag as such. This guy dead. Goodbye. We can't get over there that quickly. That is very unfortunate. Now, after deep investigation on Reddit, it has been confirmed that there are three malicious files within a zipped up file. There are three malicious EXE and also CMD files within T-Launcher's main directory coding that you can't actually open unless you have a password to unzip the program. Now, this is actually something that is quite scary because when I got hacked myself, the whole reason I got hacked is because I opened a file on my PC using a password provided to me by the hackers 
pictures as they were disguising themselves as an advertisement brand and looking for advertisement. And I've kind of spoke about that in the past. So I do have some personal knowledge and also experience with those kind of files where you need to use a password to open them. You know, they're just passworded zipped files, but it sounded quite scary when I uh, had my own experience of something very much like that. Now, T Launcher posted up this response on a very famous Russian website. And I do just want to say, I do not have any problem with Russia. Personally, I don't agree with the war. And this video isn't anything to do with the war in Ukraine or anything like that. But I just don't want um, anyone in the comments to assume that, you know, the reason I'm coming at T Launcher or making this video is because they are Russian. It has nothing to do with that whatsoever. I actually made a previous video talking about where T Launcher is located. It is a Russian company, but it's located in a country. I believe it was seashells, which that could be for tax avoidance. We don't really know. I believe it's just because there isn't many laws there. So if they are doing something shady, they can kind of get away with it. And obviously that is completely wrong. Now, if I am speaking at 5 million miles per hour, it's because there is a lot of information to dissect from this video. And I will be referencing several parts of Mr. Epic's video. Like I said, it'll be linked down below in the description. Now, like I said, T Launcher came out with a statement on their own website on VK, which is like the Russian Facebook. I've heard about it before. And if you are Russian watching this channel, you probably have a VK account. Now it's basically Russian Facebook. And what they said on this website is that they are essentially trying to create a campaign to prove they are not actually a virus, which I find quite interesting. And you know, from their point of view, it makes sense for them to try and make this. However, I personally do believe there is something shady going on at T Launcher. I don't believe it's completely safe. And um, which is why it's removed from my PC now. Oh, we won the game that quickly. All right, it's time to go into another game. So they created this statement in response to people making claims that T-Launcher is a virus and acting malicious. Now they made this statement on a Russian version of Facebook, which is called VK. Now, if you're a Russian or, you know, you live in that part of the world, you probably have heard of VK. In fact, I've heard of it before. And yeah, it's essentially a Russian Facebook. Now they made an English statement and they also made a Russian statement and both are quite different, which is quite surprising. Now I will try and leave a link on the screen so you guys can read the direct statements that were put forward forward by T Launcher. But the English statement goes as follows. It pretty much states that there has been a lot of foreign creators. Um, I, I don't know if I fall under that bracket. I don't know if they're referring to me or just they're referring to um, or if they're just referring to Mr. Epic. But essentially they said there's been a few foreign creators fabricating videos about T Launcher in attempt to ruin their reputation. You know, pretty much saying that we're lying about any videos we're making. Now, again, I don't really think this was about me because the videos that I've made, the ones that I've actually Got quite a lot of views have actually been ironically quite positive and again it's a bit of a gray area for me because i know there's a lot of you who may be saying tom how can you support t launcher and the honest answer is i don't support t launcher what I do support, however, is giving everyone the fair chance to play Minecraft. And I think it's one of them games that I don't think the trial version of Minecraft is any good. Now, maybe that's up for debate, but personally, I don't quite like it. I don't think it really gives anyone an opportunity. And in my opinion, you know, free Minecraft is free Minecraft. You know, everyone on it knows they're playing free Minecraft. It's kind of a fair game. And what I believe is that if Mojang themselves aren't really willing to do anything about, you know, T-Launcher, you know, they're not trying to get rid of T-Launcher or anything, um, then why should I really care? Is kind of the way I, I look at it, at least. Now, I know, you know, technically um, they're breaking the law, but clearly it can't be that big of a deal if Mojang themselves aren't looking to try and get, like, a big check, because that's be Oh dear. There is a chance for, you know, Microsoft or Mojang to make a ton of money by suing T-Launcher. I would have thought they would have done that. I mean, again, I'm just speculating, but it seems to me that them, they don't themselves care uh, in a way. And that's completely fine. Now, the whole reason I originally spoke about T-Launcher originally is because a lot of you guys use that client. And I want to make sure that my viewers, you guys are staying safe when playing Minecraft. And which is why I've tried my hardest to kind of investigate T-Launcher the best I can. But obviously, it's not something that is focused on my channel. You know, when I hear updates like how I have heard them, from Mr. Epic and stuff, it makes me want to make these videos. Anyway, we're getting kind of off topic. Anyway, we're getting kind of off topic here. Oh my god, that guy just got... Oh my god. Yes, we got him. Okay, I just had to focus up there real quick. Anyway, 
in this exact statement they made, they actually told their audience on this platform to subscribe to Mr. Epic, which I find quite weird in a way. Why didn't they say subscribe to such speed? No, I'm kidding. But I do think it's very weird. In fact, it's a really weird tactic that they've they've done there. And that's kind of thrown me off a little bit. You know, why would they be telling their audience to subscribe to somebody that is actually making direct videos against them? I don't really know. I think it's pretty much them saying, hey, we actually don't mind what the videos that the guy's making and trying to make it out like like they've done nothing wrong and that they don't really understand. That's how I see it, at least. It, it doesn't really make any sense. And I think it's quite weird. Now, following this statement, I do still want to interview with T-Launcher to kind of get to the bottom of things. Now, as things stand, I've removed it from my computer. And that's purely because I don't really have a use for it. Um, you know, we've made many videos about T-Launcher in the past. And I don't really want to promote something that is showing some very dodgy code within the actual file and the running of T-Launcher. Now, on Reddit, there has also been some other independent um, investigators who have looked into T-Launcher. And so far, the kind of claims that are coming out is that there is some dodgy code within T-Launcher that can download files to your PC that aren't necessarily bad. However, they have found what I believe is a CMD file, which is actually something that can be run on your PC to literally run anything, you know, command prompt is something that if you do coding or you know anything too much about pcs you'll probably know what i'm talking about when i say that i mean again personally i'm not much of a coder myself and uh for a lot of the language of talking about coding goes straight over my head but yeah essentially there is some files built into t launcher that can be ran at any time on your computer um that's cmd which means they're essentially running specific things um and personally it doesn't sit right with me as someone who has been hacked um you know quite a lot of not quite a lot but my youtube channel has been hacked and it isn't a fun experience you guys remember when my channel was deleted it isn't a nice experience whatsoever so when i hear things about that it really does make me uh worried and a little bit nervous now another reason i deleted t launcher is because i have pretty good alternatives like on my pc like sawyer client for example is one that if i'm playing through minecraft more time i'll be using sawyer client and that's just purely because i know the owner um you know there's never ever any ever been anything shady coming out about sawyer client and you know i'm hoping it stays that way because i've got a lot of trust in that client you know i've made numerous videos using it and i'm just so good at this game today i don't know what it is maybe you guys can help me understand how but i'm just tearing it up right now so at this point, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about T-Launcher? Now, I know there's a lot of you that like using it. And again, this isn't to necessarily stop you guys or, you know, tell you guys not to use it or something like that. But what I will say is that it is very interesting that T-Launcher have now come out with their own statements. And I'm assuming because Mr. Epic's video is reaching a large amount of people. But at the same time, I've watched through his video. I'm very much surprised by what has come out. And I'm not sure what is going to happen moving forward. And I just realized that I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here because I don't actually have any, um, I don't have any blocks to get back home. So we're just kind of chilling. I don't really, okay, we can go this way. Oh wait, that is where they are. Oh God. All right. I'm actually, it should be okay. I've kind of got to fight with them over here. Okay. That was very nice. Bit of parkour and we are back home sweet okay we haven't even enchanted our stuff yet that's actually crazy i just realized we have any blocks okay uh how much is okay okay i don't think this guy knows about me here and if he does he's cheating saw the particles out which is a bit annoying We're slowly making our way over towards my guy i just realized this is going to be a pretty long video as well this is going to be a pretty long video well we're trying to wrap up this bed wars game here so we'll do that as follows let's do one of those nice oh my god i'm just so much better Oh, we won the game. There we go. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Now, I want you guys to give your own opinion on this in the comments below. Are you going to stay using T-Launcher? Let me know what you think. I would heavily recommend to watch Mr. Epic's video as well. It goes into a little bit more detail. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>